Hello my friends and welcome you all to the Kingdom of Tsubasa and we are here to discuss this new update Captain Tsubasa Next If you're new, if you don't play the mobile game it's not a problem because this is not about the mobile game It is about the future of Captain Tsubasa and There is something that I want to discuss with you guys and this is the arc after the rising sun okay for the guys who are clueless let me explain okay yoshi takashi the creator of captain tsubasa right he made he spoiled us basically by the, because the mobile game is doing incredibly well globally and what he did was he supervised the next story mode on he's supervising the next story mode on the mobile game captain tsubasa dream team and what does it mean he is supervising the next arc via smartphone, okay? The next arc in the smartphone will be the Champions League after Rising Sun. So this means there are valuable information that we can get as Captain Tsubasa fans from there, okay? And one of the most exciting things, at least for me, was where the new transfers are. Because it's the Champions League season and as you can see from the cover page, there will be some changes okay there are some transfers some teams and i want to go over every one of them okay this is the mobile game and i can show you the characters okay let's start first is the thing that we know that wasn't too much of a surprise for the guys who read the last match germany versus japan Wakabayashi will now be a member of Bayern Mini, which is insane. I only hope that Karls will join that too. Please make this happen, Takashi, because I want to see the Hamburg trio again, right? Put Karls there and make my heart go warm, man. Because they, they have this legacy, right? Hamburg was never defeated. Never. Not by Tsubasa, not by Japan, by no one. They were the most invincible team. Schneider, Karls and Wakabayashi. And let the three of them join together and face Tsubasa as the final opponent. It would be the sicker thing ever. And make Tsubasa lose this match to Genzo also, man. Because Tsubasa never defeated Genzo Wakabayashi, right? If you remember, the first match was a draw between them, right? And this was the only match that they had, right? Against Hamburg. Japan was Hamburg, Tsubasa didn't join. So this was the only match they ever had. So Tsubasa doesn't know the fucking trouble to face Genzo, right? When he is repelling every single of your shot. If he makes his if he makes this miraculous saves, if he makes you desperate, Tsubasa doesn't know that. This is the biggest opponent that Tsubasa will ever face in his career. Genzo Wakabayashi. Okay, so give him cults, give him cults. I think this is the most biggest team is Bayern Munich. But we still have some very interesting Japanese joining the top clubs. First we see above, like, like below that, right? Clyward with Misugi. First I thought Manchester United because it was confirmed that... Clyward won't join Manchester United, but its people are saying that it is Ajax because he is currently playing them. What happened? Didn't the transfer happen? Like, didn't Clyward sign them? Is it like the training before they jump? Like, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. It must be Manchester United normally, right? But did he, for some reason, decide to stay on Manchester United? Because it looks like the transfer didn't happen because people are saying this is the uniform of Ajax, Ajax, right? But I really hope that it's Manchester United and Misugi joined Manchester United because Manchester United is a bigger team than Ajax, right? This is the only thing that's confusing me which doesn't make me happy but it's great to see uh, Misugi on a Europe team, European team, right? And the guys below, it seems like Neymar and um, Emma Pair, but... But like it can be like this MAP looking guy can also be Gigi or Chada or Okada or what's called, right? The guy who faced who, who took Misugi, uh, Misaki's spot on the France team after he got injured from the World Youth, right? 
he could be the guy who we faced in the friendly match against Japan without Tsubasa, without Genzo, only Misaki versus him, right? He could be the one. So I'm not sure about that. Then, very exciting news you are seeing there, there, right? Pierre and Misaki Dream Team joining together, make all rivals join together. Exactly, man, exactly. This is insane, great, great, loving it, loving it, loving it so much that we will see both of them play each other, right? With each other, but they are, I think uh, Bodo, right, still needs uh, some adjustments. They need a, they need a striker, right? What do you think, right? Then we have an, a, another incredible exciting news. Like we have Juan Diaz with another striker, Hino, Ryoma Hino, guys. This is insane, man. This is insane. Loving it because first time ever, Juan Diaz is joined with a top striker. Pascal is, was not a top striker, so he was doing everything by himself. Like Pascal doesn't have a. He's a good supportive character, but that's all. He doesn't have a super shot. He can't score on his own, right? But now we have Ryoma Hino. Just imagine a twin shot by them, man. Imagine it. This is incredible, exciting news. Joining Napoli, right? It's the start of the season. Um, Yuga said, you see Yuga there, right? There. He said, come on, Ryoma, join Italy. But he didn't want. He wanted to stay on Boca Juniors or where he paid. I don't know. Right? He stayed there. But now he seems to took over... Uh, Hugo's advice and joins the Italy League because Italy League has the strongest defense in the manga, it says, even in the real world, right? So, for a striker, it's, it's there's the biggest league, the hardest league, right? And Rio Mahino will face Hugo. This is insane, insane. But the one thing that I would make better is like. Tsubasa doesn't have a game. Make Tsubasa, make Rival retreat after the world, after the Olympic Games. Make him retreat. But Tsubasa is missing a partner. He has no real partner. So I hoped that since Wakabayashi is joining with his main rival, Karl Heinz Schneider, since Pia is, Misaki is joining with Pia's main rival, that and Aoi, you can see, he seems to be in the same uh, team as Gino Hernandez, like, again, arrived. I hope that Juan Diaz and Tsubasa would join together, man. They would do a dream team because losing doesn't fit Juan Diaz that much, man. Make this guy win and it won't be if he is not on Tsubasa's team or it would be very hard. Like, make Tsubasa and Juan Diaz a fucking dream team, man. Make as his fucking dream team, but not this time, okay? Not this time, okay? Let's continue. Then we have a big surprise, this incredible surprise. Me, you see this guy in the back? This guy? You you remember this guy? Ishizaki somehow. I don't know how. I don't know why. <laughs> he joined Inter, man. This guy joined Inter, like top Italy team. Not even Ryoma. You know, is joining it. It's 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 Ishizaki who's joining it. Like not Jito, not Soda, not not Matsuyama, but Ishizaki is joining it. Like you remember how much Yuga struggled to join a top team. Akai, he was the second league. Oshingo, who had to be in the third league and improve. No, Ishizaki said, "Fuck it." I'm in the. I was uh, w one of the first person at Tsubasa Mid. I will have. I want to may have my special privilege, and I want to join Inter right away. Insane, insane. So, so we have Shingo Aoi, we have Ishizaki, and we will have Gino Hernandez. Gino Hernandez, right? Insane team, but we need some scorers there, right? So, okay. I'm excited. Then we have Hyuga there in the back, right? Hyuga, Kojiro Hyuga, there, this guy. He is back on Juventus. I hated it. I hated the fuck out that we lost. Like, you remember Road 2002 anime? Like, it wasn't finished and this fucked me up. It's like, 
people are saying, oh, like, if you watch the 2018, I read the comments, right? And people were, like, pissing me off, saying, like, oh, Hugo is not uh, Italy League material. Yes, he sucks, he sucks, because he was in the second league. Guess what? Tsubasa was also not if in the Barcelona, right? He had to be in the B team and improve. Genzo, like, people doesn't get it, right? The arc of Road 2002 was that every Japanese player is struggling the best. Shingo is not starting. Wakabayashi was benched after the Bayern match. Tsubasa was sent to the B team. And Tuga was sent to another team. This was the point that they are making the comeback, right? That Tsubasa was defeated by Raul and now in the B team. This was the point. It doesn't mean that Yuga sucks. It's the arc. Everyone had the struggles, but for some reason, they are going ganging up on my guy uh, Huga. The only reason being because the road to 2002 enemy portrayed like that, right? Like he joined very fast. We didn't see in the road 2002 Wakabayashi bench. Tsubasa only two matches, and we saw it very late, right? But people are ignoring the improvements. So Huga will be back. Huga will be back, and. He will show everyone, everyone of the haters, why he is Kojiro Yuga that we remember from Toho. Like, he will be the top scorer, hopefully, of the Italian league. I believe that he will maybe go toe and toe with Juan Diaz, right? So, but Yuga needs also teammates. He needs teammates, and I don't know. Like, even people are saying, like, Zidane is there, right? But Zidane will join Real Madrid, so who has... Hugo left. Don't tell me Takeshi. I'm sick and tired of Takeshi. Like he is not on Tsubasa's level as a game maker. So who we will have left? Levy is in Bayern Munich. Okay, let's go over all number 10. Clyward is also by uh, Clyward is Ajax. So they can't be the case. Even Shaw, who is not clear which position is playing, is playing for Bayern. Okay. So Juan Diaz, another number 10, is playing for Napoli. Pier, Aroshino Pier is playing for Bordeaux, so, so he can't be the guy. Okay, so who we have left? No one. Uh, I don't. No Japanese player is left, right? As a number ten, don't come with Takeshi, man. Come, don't come with like, Takeshi. So who do we have left that we have seen from? I don't like over age players. I don't count them. I the only players that I count, uh, even Edgar Dals, I don't count him. The only players that I count is. That we has as a main rival in U16, U19, U16, U19, or like the Olympic Games. So who we have left? I can't. Maybe Gigi Okuda is come from PSG to Juventus. Maybe this is the only number ten that is. Uh, yeah, that I remember that is left. Otherwise, no one, no one left. Yeah, like. No, there's no one left. So Huga needs needs really needs one. He needs Buffon. He needs a great goalkeeper. He needs a goal uh, strong middle player. He will struggle otherwise. Or or tell me that Huga will solo dribble like he did in back in the Mava. That he will kill this rivals. That he will finish everyone by himself. If you make him that tiger, you Kojiro you again from Mava. If you make him that Hugo again, okay, then he can be on his own. He will probably lose to Tsubasa or other big team, but at least he was on his own. That will be the reason, right? Cool. Then, we have still, I have to go in the game now because we have two more transfers to go over. He will do the update. I want to show you guys the two guys who is joined like incredible incredible exciting like i you can also make a theory video about which members will like you let, let watch the trailer and you will see look from the original creator right everything that i said like we are seeing this guys like this is like canon right Maybe the Champions League season won't be one on one. Maybe in this story, if like let's say Tsubasa wins everyone, maybe the manga will be different, right? Look, Soda and Nita. These are the other two people. Okay, Nita and Soda. They jumped the German league, which is insane. So they will face Wakabayashi. 
Nita ist am Borussia Dortmund. He is there with Tiger Brand, guys. He is there with Tiger Brand. If I'm not mistaken, also with the Schmidt brothers. Correct me on that one. Not sure about that. Not 100% sure about that. So he will have a strong defense. Like, well, you know, Nita, this guy is always only teaming up with a strong defense. Like he did on Otomo, right? Like, really glad. I think the goal that he scored against Müller against Germany made him very popular also a other guy Soda like he made like if you watch the manga Rising Sun manga like I watched the match against Germany five times or so right because it was so dope in the manga the Rising Sun match and uh, like it has the worst ending but still Soda like he crossed every time he tried to kill Müller's hand he was the ace killer the goalkeeper killer he wanted to he made so many crosses. This guy was insane. So no wonder that he scouted him, right? Where did he go? Werder Bremen. Who plays at Werder Bremen? Franz Chester plays there. Margaz plays there. Margus, Margaz. Like for some reason they translated Margus' name in the German manga, which I read as Mar uh, Margaz. So ma sometimes I tell Margaz. So I don't even know what his real name is, right? Margus, Margaz. And Raman victory. Now they have, now they have Soda there, man. Crazy. So Shasta can really play with him. Oh, you could put Shasta in uh, Juventus in Kojiro Hugo's team. Now I remember. We have one more number ten left. Who could maybe also be great? Yeah, but that's from the point. Let's assume that he will stay in Werder Bremen. So it would be a crazy team. And with incredible hype, so other players, where will there will be, right? Where will be Jito? Where will be Matsuyama? Where will be guys like Sano? Will they, will they be somewhere, right? And like, otherwise Takeshi, where will he be, right? So everyone from the G League will probably join now internationally, finally, finally. So incredible hype for that. I hope you enjoyed my reaction, my review about this part. Like I want to discuss with other captains about the because no one on YouTube I can see this depth of discussion about the manga. It's only about the game or about something. But I am an incredible fan of the story, guys. I'm I'm so, like 25 years probably, 24 years. I am with the story. This is a part of my life. And I just want to find other people who are passionate, the same, who share the same passion about the show as I am. I'm incredibly pissed that we don't have an anime about all these adventures, right? We don't have a, we have now a proper anime about the um, middle school arc, but we don't have a proper anime about the U16. We don't have a proper about U19. Nothing. We have nothing about. U19, nothing real about. We have no animated Naturetsa, man. This sucks. This sucks. Yeah, like other series are making filler because they don't have material. We, as a Captain Tsubasa, have a lot of material and we don't have an enemy. You can't tell me there is, like, there's so many shitty enemies. Sorry, but there's so many shitty enemies with no fan base at all. You are seeing this every season. There are some crappy enemies and they all have the enemy, but for some reason, we can't have such a masterpiece as Captain Tsubasa have an enemy, right? So this sucks. This sucks. And I will make my voice loud on this channel. We need an enemy. We need a continuation of U16, U16. We need Schneider. We need the Müller. We need everyone. Okay, guys, this is for my rage. I hope you enjoyed my reaction. If you think so, if you agree with what I'm saying, or if you're liking this channel, subscribe and let make let's make more videos like that have a great day bye